Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about the BP zone. So we've been using this tool with both our pitchers and our hitters. I just finished up with some training and I wanna talk about the different ways that we use it with both because I think it's a super valuable tool. We've been using it mostly lately with our pitchers, but we just started using it with our hitters um, and getting really good results. So let me show you kind of how it works, what it's designed to do, the things that we really like about it. So the main idea behind it is it's for our pitchers, whether it's flat ground work or bullpen work, it gives us two things really. One, it allows us to throw to a target, which typically, will be a catcher, but catchers aren't always easy to find. So this is really simple for us to set up. And again, whether we're doing flat grounds, bullpens, we have something to throw to. We've got the nine boxes, so it gives us a target. So we can work on different pitches to different locations. We can work on middle of the plate. We can work on up in the zone, down in the zone. It gives instant feedback to our pitcher and to our coach. Are we hitting the target that we're aiming for? So that has been really, really valuable for us. It is extremely sturdy, which is another huge aspect of it. So in the past, we've used other tools that are supposed to do what this does, but they don't do it anywhere close to as well. And so when the ball hits off this thing, it doesn't move. It has not fallen over once. It's been extremely durable and works for exactly what we're trying to get accomplished, which is get as much work in, without having to run down here and adjust it every time you hit it. So that has been really big on the pitching side. From the hitting side, we've used it as a pitch recognition tool. So we'll set it up in the, the same way. Really does two things. One for me as a BP thrower, it gives me something to aim at, which for me is really key. Uh, it allows me to try to move the ball around. So maybe I'm working on, if a lefty's hitting, maybe I'm working on you know, throwing the ball to the four and the one, working up and in. Maybe I'm working down and away, throwing at the nine. But then as a pitch recognition tool, if the hitter does not take a swing, one, it gives him an idea of, okay, where did that ball miss? Did it miss completely? Well, then we know it's off the plate. Did it hit one of the bars? Well, then we know it's probably right on the black. If it hits the black, what I do is I ask the hitter, which square did that hit in? And so if they take it, they don't swing. Let's see the ball goes through the two. I'll say, where's that pitch? They're gonna be able to tell me two, five, eight, they can name a number. If the ball, let's say, goes through the two and they say nine, then we have to have a discussion. Why is that, that that pitch for that hitter appears to be down and away, but it's middle and up. So it gives the coach feedback, it gives the hitter feedback, it lets me get into his head a little bit and figure out, okay, what is his strike zone awareness like? Does he have an understanding of where pitchers are crossing the plate? So really good tool for hitters as well as pitchers. So if you want to check one out, just go to bpzones.com. I really do recommend it. Ever since we've gotten it, we've used it in every single throwing and pitching session. Our pitchers and our players really, really enjoy it. I know our coaches do as well. And as I said, we're starting to use it more with our hitters as a pitch recognition tool. And it's been really valuable in that sense as well. So that is all I have. Check one out, bpzones.com. We'll talk to you later.